Hey everyone, here's another update uh, on the products of my tank. Uh, once again, uh, it's an endless hobby. You always find something new in the market. And obviously, if you find something very reasonable, you uh, go out and go buy it. I don't know what it is about reef tanks, but everybody goes insane for it. Pockets never stay full. But uh, here we go. Uh, we have a 10 watt RGB LED floodlight. Okay, so this purchase online. Uh, this is QC inspected uh, and also ISO tested. So they are a legit kit that you do purchase. Um, here's the actual reflector with the RGB inside of it. It's pretty awesome. Great little lamp. Uh, for one, to give you a comparison and how with the size of the actual light. Here you go. That's my hand. So it's roughly about say 3.5 or uh, 3.8 inches by 3. Point by 3 inches and I think it's about say 3 inches in depth. So it's, it's fairly small. I mean, let me zoom out a little bit just to give you a comparison. That's on my tank. Now as you can see, my tank is empty. Um, I sold all my rocks. Sand is in a bucket. The fishes are at my friend's house right now in his reef tank. And uh, I have a few fishes in a small tank right now just at the side until I get the new system rolling. And uh, reason for the new system is just because, you know what, I used tap water for the longest time. Everybody says don't use it. Some people say do it. And the only way to find out in this hobby is actually if you do it yourself. So I'm going RODI all the way this time. Switching my salt from Instant Ocean to uh, Instant Ocean uh, Reef Crystals. Uh, so hopefully I, that'll be a future video. But uh, this time it's strictly on the LED flood lamps. Great little purchase. Just to give you a little knowledge on the lights. Uh, they're pretty much uh, LED color. Four main colors. You get the green, red, white, blue. And then you get 16 different colors in total, so pretty much you change colors via the remote. And the remote is uh, right here. Okay, so that's your on and off. Uh, you get a dimmer, low and high. You get all the primary colors, plus you can multiply the colors. And then you have your strobes, the fade, the flash, a um, couple different options. Good little remote. A uh, good thing about these lights that I did experience is that uh, no matter how much quantities you buy, their actual remotes, one of them will control all four of them. So it's not like you buy 16 lights and you need 16 different remotes. So that's a great bonus that the company did manufacture. Um, it is a full aluminum casing. It is uh, waterproof tight with silicone on the inside. It has its own transformer inside so you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, one thing is when you do buy the kit, it will come with the wire approximately one foot and then you have to go ahead and buy another cord from Home Depot or Lowe's and then solder them in together. So I've used some heat shrink, soldered all the wires properly, and uh, they are watertight right now. So in case there's ever salt creeps or it drops into the water, you don't have to worry about the lights being damaged. Okay, so the input voltage on this is an AC uh, 85 volts to 265 volts. So no matter where you are in the world, whether being uh, Europe, uh, China, India, South America, Canada, States, it'll work anywhere you are. They're also available in 12 volts, so for some guys who want to use it on their ATVs and cars, great little light. Uh, the frequency on it is 50 by 60 hertz. Um, I don't think it really matters in our hobby here. Um, the beam angle on this, which I really do like, is 140 degrees. Okay, So that's the main key on this. It's 140 degrees, so no matter how far you position the lights, it's going to give you a widespread instead of a spot lamp. Now a few lights in the market, when you do buy them, they give you a spot lamp focus only in one direction. I really don't like that type of system is because you want to you wanna even spread on the corals and the fishes and the, the sand and the rocks. So everything in the tank gets an equal disbursement of light. Uh, the lifespan on these are average about 60,000 hours plus. So you don't have to worry about changing the bulbs or switching out the units. It will definitely last you a good 10 years or so. All right, and uh, pretty and the glass. Second thing I want to talk to you about. Um, when I did purchase this, I was really worried about the glass, thinking, you know what, they're gonna give me a one millimeter or two millimeter thick glass. But uh, if you listen to the sound, now that's on my tank, but here, okay, that's that's pretty thick. Uh, the actual glass is actually five millimeters thick, which is a good thing because even if you drop it, there's a high chances it's not gonna break on you. Um, and one little thing that I wanted to mention, the uh, remote sensor is actually right there, that little dot. 
And so when you do change the lights, I mean, if this is facing down in your tank, you're actually going to have to hold the remote um, right on an angle down below to switch the lights. Okay, which is not, it's not a big problem for the guys who keep it on glass, but uh, the guys who want to levitate it up on top of the tank, so, I mean, you, you get a better option there. It's really up to you. Let me turn one on, just to show you guys what it looks like. All right, sorry for the shakiness, but here you go. Okay, I'm going to turn off my uh, room lights. Okay, switch between your red, green, blue, and white. And then you have all the other colors, whichever you want to choose, purple, you can have your flash effect, you can have the fade effect, you can have the white strobe, which fades in and out, and then you have your multiple color once again. So I mean, obviously you're not going to use it on the reef tank, big no-no, you don't want to scare the fishes and stress them, causing ick. That's one of the biggest problems that we have in the tank. So here you go, guys. Okay. I'm just going to face these down now, just to show you an idea on the tank. Okay. So on the tank, uh, turn off my lights again. That's one light on. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and turn the second on. Third. Fourth. So total 40 watts I have running on the tank right now, as you can see. It gives you a real nice color. Good disbursement of the 100, 145 degree angle, 140 degree angle, sorry. And the good thing about these lights is you can actually go right up to it, have one white. Three white. Sorry, three blue, one white. Or you can have two whites, two blue. I mean, the best coloration would happen once I have the water in the tank, and I will give you guys another update uh, in about a month or so after my tank's done cycling. And, uh, but yeah, here you go. I mean, the coloration, you got all sorts of Ks. You can go anywhere from a 6,000 K to 10,000 to 400 lumens. Sorry, uh, 400 uh, K. It gives you different, different options. I have the purple and the blue. Great for coralline algae growth and also the coloration of the corals, right? Good little lamp. <clears throat> now, right now I have them sitting on the glasses just for the show purpose. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a metal bracket right on top of the tank in an arched effect. So it's going to pretty much go in a loop there. And all four will be angled um, roughly about, say, four or five inches above the, the water surface. There are a couple of videos online where you can go and people have been putting these on nano tanks. And I'll f each one of these lights... Now, guys, don't hold me against this. Each one of the lights... 10 watts equivalent of LED is about 100 watts equivalent to your actual uh, halogen bulb. Now, fluorescents are a little different and a metal halide is a little different. I don't know the exact comparison, um, but I think uh, to take a wild guess, once again, don't hold me against this, 10 watts of LED, high power LED light is equivalent to anywhere from 50 to 75 watts of metal halide. So uh, the main purpose of getting 10 watts is obviously saving power. You guys are going to save a lot of power on this. Um, these lights now, they are also available in your 10 watts, 20 watts. You have 30, 50 in RGB. And then if you want to go strictly to the whites, you can go up to about 200 watts. Now, 200 watts gets really, really pricey, but... Um, it's again all up to the individual and how big the tank is. I mean, I'm going to be doing a tank project hopefully mid summer to late fall this year. So it will be a roughly a seven foot tank, and uh, we'll give you the updates on there. And I'll, I'll post updates online just to show you guys what the 30 watts will do. But I hope you guys do like the lights. Okay, they're awesome to have. There are many guys online who are, are pretty cheap in price, but just make sure you're getting quality versus quantity like you can buy them very cheap for a whole bunch of quantities but then again you can ask yourself the question are you buying qualified and certified stuff if it's not it's not going to last you as long and the material the cheap stuff the silicone is not going to be actual actual active so if it does drop in your tank you can have a problem there now uh, the the 10 watts are 900 lumens 
just for some of you guys who are LED experts, 20 watts are going from uh, 1800 to 2000 lumens. The 30 watts are 2700 to 3000 lumens. And 50 watts are 4800 to 5600 lumens. Now that's pretty darn bright if you ask me. Okay, they can use them on outside home floodlights for your for your porch, for your house, but again, I'm going to try the tank method. Uh they work on mushrooms. Uh great for LPS corals. I've seen them on a few SPS tanks, but I really have to test the method myself. I'm going to grab a a couple SPS after my tank's done cycling and I'm going to add them to it and see exactly how it is. If it works great on SPS, I will definitely let you guys know. Okay? So you guys have a better idea. Uh, but I hope you guys do like the light. If you guys uh, leave any comments, please let me know. Or any suggestions, do let me know. Um, and I'll be I'll be definitely ready to reply to any questions, answers you guys have. And from there, again guys, uh, Happy New Year once again. Hope you guys do like the lighting system. It is phenomenal. Again, the, the heat sink you have at the back, that's my old lighting system. I'm probably going to sell that now. It's it's two fifty watt bulbs equaling a hundred watts. Uh, just to show you what it looks like, and that's my hundred watts. Okay, this is my lights turned off, but hundred watts again, it's a lot. Okay, guys, hope you guys enjoy the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If there's any questions, let me know. RGB LED floodlights, ten watts. There you go. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.